coronavirus cases. Stay at home guidelines in place as the state braces for a surge in cases. Mayor Walsh says the city saw its largest single day increase 259 new coronavirus cases in two days, 511. That's a 27% increase in cases over the last 48 hours. That's what a surge looks like, and we are still at the beginning of the surge. The mayor recommending a curfew for non-essential workers from 9 p.m. to 6 a.m. He's also asking everyone to wear a mask or a cloth face covering when they leave their homes. It's important to understand that covering does not protect you from infection. Physical distancing is still 100% necessary. You need to... He doesn't even say distancing will protect you. It's all bullshit, and Marty Walsh is a puppet cocksucker. And you got in office by playing the fucking union card. I'm a union member. He's just a puppet piece of shit like the rest of them. At least six feet away from other people, even when you're wearing a face covering. But face coverings will help slow the spread of the virus. The mayor locking down sporting areas and city parks, expressing frustration towards people ignoring the guidelines and who continue to gather in public spaces. In some cases, it's just astonishing, quite honestly. Our public safety personnel, police, should not be having to enforce this. Uh, this, is, this is common sense. The mayor says what the community does in the next two weeks will save lives. I need everyone to understand the seriousness of this situation. Lives are literally at stake. I am not willing to look back two or four weeks from now and look at that. <laughs> look at the lady giving hand signs. Looks like she's retarded. No offense to retardation, but I mean, really, that chick is funny, right? Look at the facial expressions. Hand sign is really not facial expressions. We're thinking that we could have done more. We must act now, all of us. It's our responsibility. And the mayor stressing not to use medical grade masks, of course, leaving those for the health care workers. These new guidelines go into effect tomorrow morning through May 4th. We are live tonight in Boston. Nathalie Pozo, 7 News Night Team. What a joke. Give me a break. The more bullshit they come up with, the less people are listening to them. And considering that you're basically taught that all politicians are liars and corrupt and they're thieves since the day you're born... Why would people listen to them now? Huh? So now they're going to have to start putting out stories where you may know somebody or know of an industry or, or some such thing. You know, in Boston, in Boston, it's big for them to say, you know, bus drivers, the MBTA, which is huge, massive, right? So many tested positive. And so you have all these workers saying, well, somebody I work with tested positive, but they don't even know these people. It's all bullshit. Fucking rat bastards. Fucking, it's unbelievable. They can't even make this shit up, I swear. Whoever thought of this fucking thing, it obviously got the corner office on the 90th floor with a fucking limo and a secretary as a giant bonus. And they're like, wow. We can't even imagine how much money we're making off this fucking thing.